motorcycle back to the hotel. First time doing this. Well, another day is going to be another country. We're at uh, Changi Airport in Singapore, getting ready to leave the beautiful city of Singapore. And uh, we're going to be checking in to catch a flight to country number 58, which is uh, the Philippines. We're going to be flying to Manila today. Closet and a nice bathroom. And look at this. There's a TV in the mirror. So that's pretty cool. And then a big shower and the toilet facility. So this is nice. Well, good morning from Manila. We had a nice uh, night last night at the hotel, and we're very excited to start our journey to Coron, Palawan, to our very special accommodations in Coron. Can't wait to share that with you. And uh, weather's really nice out. And uh, we're getting ready to walk in the terminal and get checked in for our flight. All right, we've successfully made it through uh, security and got checked in. And our first stop to uh, get ready for our flight is none other than Krispy Kreme 2024.
probably the most unique room tour that I've ever done and may ever do uh, here in Palawan, Philippines on Corona Island. We're staying at the Palo houseboats and we've just made it to our houseboat 
And so I'm gonna give you a tour, as you can see behind me. Uh, the scenery is just, there's just no words for it. Okay, this is our lounging area. We actually have four chairs and this is our view. The water is just crystal clear. You see the houseboats are spaced out quite a bit, so it's private. Then over here is essentially the dining room. It'll be bringing us, this is where we're gonna be eating at. We have fresh water right here. And our table, glasses. Beautiful view. And we proceed on to the rest of the houseboat. So you come in here, this is kind of our patio, if you will. And then this is our bedroom. Look at this view. It's unbelievable. Wow. And then you step on in here. This is the bathroom, the shower, one sink. And another sink with a great view. There's the head. And that is the tour of our houseboat. And you can see this water. Look. And that's deep water. But it's crystal clear. So in the mornings, when you're laying in the bed, or whenever, this is the view. Wow. See all these fish around our houseboat. They told us that they're actually anchovies. Okay, we just had our dinner brought to us tonight. And I've got a chicken adobo. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Vanessa got spaghetti bolognese. There's some garlic bread, banana cake, and rice. Mm. Looks delicious. Okay. okay, so this is our sleeping setup for tonight. Mosquito net. And wide open. And wide open spaces. And it's pitch black.
good morning. It's uh, early in the morning and Vanessa and I concluded our stay at the houseboat. You saw from the video how absolutely stunning that place is and it was very, very peaceful. And so now we're heading back to Manila for a few days uh, before we uh, complete our trip around the world uh, at the end of this week. We're at Botswana Airport, getting ready to head back to Manila, and this is by far the smallest airport I've ever seen. There's gate one, gate two, gate three, gate four, all in one building. And there's the runway road. Fun. Well, our flight was delayed by two hours, so we're here at this little airport. And the advantage of this little airport is you can leave the airport and walk around at the little shops outside. You see over here behind me. And walk back in and sit at the gate. Can't do that in Nashville. to the Conrad in Manila, and let's see what room they gave us this time. Okay, here we are, starting out in the foyer. And we have a nice half bath. Then we come on this side, we have our spacious living room. This flows, oh, nice TV, and look at there. Good afternoon, Mr. Close. And then we flow into the master bedroom. Very nice. And we come down in here. We have a dressing room. Very nice and into this very spacious bathroom. We have the nice tub for Vanessa. Nice vanity with a TV in the vanity. And you come around here, nice and huge open shower. Through here and the toilet facilities. So, once again, Conrad has done us well. See, I'm currently at the uh, Manila American Cemetery and Memorial. Uh, this is one of the largest American cemeteries in the world. Um, there are approximately 17,000 Americans that are buried here from World War II, from the terrible fighting in this area. And there are over 32,000 names listed of missing represented here as well so um, looking forward to 
looking things over inside and and uh, reflecting on everything that took place here 80 years ago. And because with all the cemeteries, the areas very well manicured and, and beautiful. States Army and Army Air Forces, Alexander N. Colopus, Staff Sergeant, 394 Bomb Squadron, Massachusetts. Now that gives you chills. Well, we're about to 
wrap up our trip. We are at the airport in Manila and uh, we're in the line to check in to Japan flight to Tokyo. And the lines are pretty crazy here, as you can see. <laughs> so, hopefully we get to our gate and everything is good and we make our way to Tokyo and to see. All right, there's our plane in uh, Manila that's gonna be taking us to Tokyo. It's a 787 Dreamliner and uh looks like they're fueling it up cleaning it up and we'll be uh, heading out of here shortly well this is the first the lady told me i can board with the senior citizens that's okay i'll take it so here we go japan airlines Two days of travel, planes, boats, automobiles, all kinds of stuff. And we successfully traveled around the entire world in 32 days. Feels good. Good to be home too. Get you only live once, so don't waste your time. 
time Please don't waste your time your time. days of travel, planes, boats, automobiles, all kinds of stuff. And we successfully traveled around the entire world in 32 days. Feels good. Good to be home too.